So hi everyone, thank you for joining me here once again today at Fluid Arts by Elsa. And before we get started, I wanna show you the last piece that I worked on, I have it sitting right behind me. I wanna show you how that dried. Um, so this is the piece. And as you can see, it dried perfectly, okay? I wanna bring it up a little more. Look how beautiful the colors are, so rich. Love how the yellow and the pinks work together. Ah, there you go. See how gorgeous it turned out. And it did not shift on me, which I am so happy about. The composition is beautiful. You do get that iridescent shine in the middle from that tangerine orange that I added at the top. I don't know if you can see it. It all depends how the light hits it. But once it does get a top coat of resin, I will show you how it turns out. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you are interested in this piece, please email me at elsasgallery at gmail.com. And it's gorgeous. You can sit it any which way you prefer. It is a beautiful piece. See how gorgeous? It's beautiful. Okay? So... That is the 20 by 24 inch uh, painting from my previous video. So we're gonna sit it right here. And next, we are gonna be diving into uh, creating a diptych that is a two panel 10 by 20 inch canvas painting. And I'm gonna continue on with the ocean theme, the blues, um, all different kind of uh, shades of blue. Uh, I'm gonna be working on a gray base and can't wait to get started. Meet me at the canvas. Okay, so here we are at the canvas and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be showing you, first of all, um, the diptych is a 10 by 20 inch canvas, two of them. I already have the backs prepped, so it's taped. My push pins are in, and this will help me if I needed to move my canvas around. That way, I don't have it, it doesn't create any shifting of my composition on the top. I also want to make sure that you guys remember you need to make sure your canvases are properly leveled, so make sure you check to make sure that you're leveled. Okay, very important that you don't forget to make sure that your canvases are leveled and mines are pretty, pretty leveled, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you, I am using today my travel size hair dryer, okay? And I am gonna continue to use some leftover paints that I have. So those are the ones that you're gonna see in the cups. The colors I will be using to flood my canvas, I am using Titanium White by Artist Loft. I still have a little bit left here, so I'm going to use that. And that's the same thing I have in my squeeze bottle to get my edges. The next color I'm going to be using, and I use the bottle just to mix my paints and shake it. It's easier. So I did use um, Neutral Gray by Amsterdam. And I added about a teaspoonful of white, so to get a lighter gray, a lighter shade, and I mixed it in this empty bottle that I had. So that's my base colors. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flood the canvas, and I'll see you right back. I'm gonna speed you guys up for time's sake. Let's get started.
ahead and torch my base. Just get rid of those bubbles coming to the surface. If you leave the bubbles at the top of your surface on your base paint, as it dries, it's just gonna create pinholes and you don't want that. Okay, so our colors are down. I am gonna be starting with Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. Okay. Next I have oh, Light Ultramarine Blue by Golden. And I love this color. Okay. Next I have Pearl Ocean Blue by Orteza. Now I have Opaque Light Ultramarine Blue by Pavel. Now I'm adding a little bit of 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And last I have Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam, okay? That's what's in my cup. Let me add a little more. Oh, so those are my colors. Now I'm gonna torch it a little bit. Okay. And let's blow this out. looks gorgeous I wish I had more color here but I'm just gonna go ahead and blow a little bit there
Okay. So that works out. I'm just bringing this in a little bit here as well. Okay. And this piece is gorgeous. I don't think there's anything I need to add here. I'm going to torch it a little bit. I'm going to turn this one around because I do want to blow a little bit on that petal. Just goes a little bit there. I think that works better. I like that. Okay. Better. I'm happier with that. Um... I don't think there's anything else I want to do here.
So I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up. So here it is and look how gorgeous this turned out. Love the dark base, um, the gray. It will dry darker. But look at the shades of blues. Look at how the 24 karat gold outline the, um, I believe that was the ultramarine uh, blue by Pebel. Just beautiful. Look at the cells it created. Beautiful petal. Check that out. And some of the gray that went up to the petal there. It's beautiful. And then it ties into the next panel over and look at those cells. Rich, beautiful cells. Look at that webbing in there with the sky blue light. I didn't see much um, reaction with these paints as I normally see, but it's still a gorgeous piece. Love the black. Um, um, I'm sorry, the white split base here. There's a lot of cells in here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment below. If you're new watching my channel, thank you so much. If you're an existing viewer, thank you for supporting me. Like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. That way you're notified when I have a new video up. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.